the image you're looking at is just a big grid of pixels, each with an RGB value. We could take a smaller matrix and convolve it over the big one, wherever the squares overlap. We could take those numbers, multiply them, and add them all up. But say the smaller matrix was this one. So we have the negative of these pixels, nothing of the middle ones, and the positive of those. If I hold it over a flat background, this cancels this, and it spits out zero. But when I hold it over something, suddenly that spits out a significant figure. That's why this is called a vertical edge kernel. It's designed for finding vertical edges. Look. Now, say that we generate a random kernel that produces a random output, and then another, and then a million more, and say we could force millions of people to identify all the squares with the stop signs in them for free, then what we could do is write a cost function that subtracts our random output from the true one capture provided. Functions can be graphed, so we just derive for the minimum, and if we find that, then we've found the very long piece of code that can learn to recognize things on its own, deep learning. Like this Insta360 Ace Pro 2 that can track my face or perform functions based off hand gestures, or this rider assistance program that can track cars and their likelihood of causing a crash.